As part of my journey through the South Pacific, I went to Samoa, and what an amazing place it was, as you're about to see. This is how I'm getting around in Samoa. I've never ridden one before, but it should be a lot of fun. The only problem is it rains a lot here this time of year, so it might not have been the wisest choice, but we'll find out. But it was a lot cheaper than a car. This place was really good. It's in the Poke Bowl. It's yummy. Look at the size of that waterfall. So it's got to be at least 300 feet tall. The guy at the scooter place recommended this walk. Doesn't seem like it's too difficult and it's supposed to be spectacular views. First viewpoint was about a five minute walk at that. It's a cool forest. I don't think I've walked through a forest like this before. This all lava right here. Created these cliffs. Put the leaves on these trees. They're serrated like a saw. Don't run into them. Now that is spectacular. Cool looking fruit. It's like a candy corn. And there is another arch. Incredible. This is the same one as before, but this is a different arch. So there's like three arches here. There's this, there's this one here. And there's one in the back, and there's also one right there. There's an arch that goes through there, and an arch that goes through there. This is the same one I started before, but it's got another one right there. So, so many arches on one rock. This is the coolest rock on the planet. This one also has an arch in it. This is next to the one that had all the arches in it. And there's also some more arches in here. What a spectacular scene. There's another arch down here. And there's another one right here. You may have seen the spoiler over there, but this is another arch. And look at this view over here. We've got some caves forming here. This one's actually a double arch. This just keeps going. Here's another one and another cave. This trail has the most bang for the buck of any trail I've been on in a long time. Another cool looking sea cave. This is as far as I'm going to go because it's a bit treacherous after this, but as you can see, this goes on for miles. What a beautiful coastline. One more cave to see before I turn back. And the cool thing is I get to see all this again on the way back. There's a big arch and two little arches. When I first started this trail, I was expecting just some cliffs and the ocean. I wasn't expecting all those arches and everything. So this trail ended up being one of my favorites I've done in a long time. So if you're coming to Samoa, definitely put this on your list of stuff to do. Coastal walk trail. It's a bit out of the way. You have to drive down a three kilometer dirt road to get here, but definitely worth it. Hey buddy. He's just walking around, but now he's 
afraid, which I don't blame him because I'm scary. Good morning, Phil from the future talking here. Today I went snorkeling at Palolo Deep Marine Reserve. It was amazing and here's some shots of it from the GoPro, really cool. The current was really, really strong though so I couldn't go too far out, but I still saw some amazing things. <music> at a local market because not much is open on Sunday. She said it was chicken chop suey. So we'll see how it is. It was 12 tala, which is about five bucks. It's delicious. A couple of bones on it, but oh, that's okay. Really good. Waterfall. Even a little bit on the top here. Got these awesome mountains back there too. It's just an iconic scene. There's an adolescent chicken. Somewhere stuck between chick and chicken. I'm now at Vavau Beach, which is very unique, as you will see in a second. It's really cool. It's so cool. I'm going in the water now. Except for the plastic bottles, I think mean, it's cool. Such a unique place. Oh, I've walked around to the other cove. Not quite as unique, but still pretty beautiful. I'm eating here again because the food's good. It's close to the Airbnb and it's open. A lot of stuff's closed on Sundays. Yummy. Salmon pizza. Delicious. So today was a lot of fun. I made a list of things I want to do and I got all but one of them done. Problem was, I got very sunburned, as you can see, because I got lost at one point and I was driving 45 minutes the wrong way and I almost ran out of gas. So that was kind of a nightmare because there's no gas stations outside of Apia. But I did make it to a gas station, I made it back, but I got really sunburned. So I got to be more careful, put more sunblock on. I'm usually very careful about these kinds of things. So this is it. It goes under.
over there. That's going to be pretty awesome. And I didn't realize it was right next to the ocean like this. So here goes nothing. It's pretty cold, but it's really refreshing. This is really, really cool. Look how far in this goes. The water line. It's so clear. And it's fresh water. The other awesome thing is, I came here early, so I'm the only one here. That is Sun Yatu Waterfall. And you can swim in it, so that's what I'm going to do. This is going to be fun. Look at that. Here we go. Woohoohoo! This is amazing. hard to swim close to it because it's creating such a current so I don't know how much how much close I'm gonna be able to get this is just such an amazing experience though it's even beautiful where the waterfall is going right now I'm at Tosua Ocean Trench climb down a ladder and swim in it should be fun this one's called Tule Sua. I can't even see the bottom. I'm gonna go down that ladder there and then into the water. Wow, look at that. Alright, so this is incredible. a big hole and apparently you can swim out the ocean sometime but I'm not sure how to do that here goes nothing oh salty water the other two are fresh oh this is so nice and this is just so unique Well, there's definitely a current pulling me out. This is my view as I'm swimming. Fortunately, they have these ropes here. You can pull yourself off. Oh, wow. I'm going to go under here. Finally reached the point where I could stand. Wow. Awesome. Yet another waterfall that can swim in. How awesome is that? Beautiful. my view right now. I thought you might be able to swim in these upper falls too, but it looks like there's no easy way down there. Well, I've just had an unbelievable couple of hours. I hit a pothole on one of the roads here and it tore up the back tire of my scooter, which I didn't realize that it did that until I was driving, went to get gas and they showed me that it was almost flat 
So I took it back to the scooter place and they made me buy a new tire, which was $120 or so. And then also what happened was I hit a big pothole and I had my iPhone in the cup holder and it came flying out and landed on the road and now it won't turn on. So I took it to a place to see if they can fix it. Hopefully they can fix it. What a day. The, re the rest of the day was great. Went to see four different places, two waterfalls, the ocean trench, cave pools. So it was an amazing day from that perspective, but a lot of not so good stuff has happened since then. Also, I had a pretty good dinner at a place called Seafood Gourmet. They gave me, it was shrimp and fish and crab. It was all fried and french fries and coleslaw and a drink. And it was 30 tala, which is about $12. I thought that was a really good deal. The only problem was in the restaurant next door, there was some woman singing karaoke the whole time. And she had a horrible voice. And she butchered Mariah Carey's Hero and she butchered Hallelujah. So it was kind of comical actually, but it was... <laughs> she, her voice was just awful. I'm heading to yet another waterfall to swim in. This one will be fun. Gotta go all the way down there. Two parts, the lower part and the upper part. You can swim in both. Nice. Doing that. Get on this one now. So awesome. Refreshing. There's a third level to these waterfalls. I guess that's why they call them sliding rocks. Well, it's been a rough couple of days. My phone broke. I broke the tire on the scooter. I have bad diarrhea, ew. And I have bad sunburn, as you can see, it's starting to blister. In spite of all that, I really enjoyed Samoa. The people here are amazing and the whole vibe is just totally chill and it's such a beautiful place. So many amazing places to see. I wish I had been able to go over to Savai, which is the other island. I was planning to do that yesterday, but with all the issues with my phone and the Wi-Fi here was broken also, there's another issue, but that was resolved. I really wanted to go to Savai, but I, I'm not, not going to be able to do it. I'll have to do it next time. But I love Samoa. I definitely want to come back here. I'm surprised it doesn't get more tourists because it's just so beautiful. The one negative I will say about it is there's a lot of trash everywhere. I think if they cleaned it up, it would be so much better, but other than that, it's, it's beautiful place. Definitely would come here again.